Cue the music. YouTubers, it's me, Gary, and here we are in the first blizzard of 2016. I hey, guess it's a blizzard, whatever. Hey, we luck out though this weekend because I think Saturday we might just get a dusting or whatever, and Washington D.C. is going to get douched. Ooh, you hate to see it. Well, if there's one city that needs douched, <laughs> uh, look, we got some new comic books here. Punisher trade paperback. Look at that, uh, Garth Ennis Punisher. That's good. Um, Lando trade paperback. Yeah. Thor, it works every Look time. Look how he's he's just slyly back there behind yeah. Thor. Hey, yeah. how hey, you doing? Hey Thor, how you doing? Uh, Inferno trade paperback. That's uh, classic. Look at this DC Comics icon Harley Quinn statue. That's classic Harley Quinn, pre-slutty Harley Quinn, whatever you want to call it. It's nice stuff. Yeah, it's nice stuff. Uh, here's the new books. 68. <laughs> <laughs> Only one number away. <laughs> you do me and I'll owe you one. Uh, Absent Captain. Oh. Ice King. Amazing Forest. I don't know what that is. But okay. Looks cool. American Monster from Brian Azzarello and Juan Doe. Another one from, uh, a new one from Aftershock. And Aftershock's knocking it out of the park. They, it's, it's the company to watch. Keep hey, there's... It's already... That's just one day and it's already down to that. Stephen King, Drawing of the Three, Dark Tower book. Idris Elba, maybe, didn't they say? As, as, as a gunslinger? About, oh, yeah. about it. Deadpool, Deadpool 2099, no less. Deep Space Tragedy. Uh, I don't know what that is. Devi? Is that you're, what it is? you're just uh, yeah. you're distracted. Her boobies are on fire. <laughs> That's got to hurt. I wonder you if smell that, what the rock is cooking. That, that's how you get hot milk. That's right. Warm milk. Devolu Devolution from Rick Remender. That's Bill's pick of the week for some reason. Because it's the... Because it's the one we have the most of? But... Pretty close. Judge Dredd. Nick likes Judge Dredd. Oh wait, his Judge Dredd book with a pug on the cover. Wow, that's, yeah, that's for you puppy fans. For you, for you, all of you that like puppies. And if you don't like puppies, come on. Yeah. Kingdom Bum. I don't know what that means. Uh, empty Spot. Hard to say what it was. Uh, we're really selling stuff out here at Bill's Books. Hey. Got a got a pre-order. Yeah, the kids. numbers, yeah. Lucifer. Yeah, that's a look at that one. That one's down again. Yep, we only got one copy left. New show starts on Monday. Get on it, kids. I actually missed Agent Carter. I forgot it was coming back the other night. I deva art it. Yeah. Lumberjanes. I also missed Face Off last night because I forgot it was on. I don't watch that. How dare you not watch Face Off? I know. How dare I not watch something someone else likes? That's right. Red Thorn. It looks like he looks real broy. He looks like real. What's up, like, man? Looks like a, a real Monster Energy drink kind of guy. Robin, son of Batman. That's what you get with uh, Scottish mythology creatures. Sure. What's up? Uh, empty spot. I guess they're either going to be bro-ish or they have dresses train spotting. On. Yeah. Sanitarium. Great Metallica song. Yeah. Great album. Secret Six. Uh, empty Spot. True Believers, the groovy Deadpool number one. Black Exploitation Deadpool, I highly recommend it. Dollar yeah. reprint. They're getting out as many of these dollar reprints of Deadpool stuff as they can. Same with this one, True Believers, the, the wedding of Deadpool. Uncanny Inhumans, or Incanny Unhumans. Hey, whichever way you want to say it. Yeah. Uncanny X-Men. She really likes to pose seductively on piles of corpses. I guess. Is there something wrong with me, or is that weird? Anyway. It's Jennifer Lawrence. She can do whatever she wants, man. Yeah. We got some Pops, Toy Story, Woody. We got Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg from uh, The Fifth Element. Uh, Ricochet Rabbit. Nice. And Deadpool. That's swords. 
You see he's got swords in his hand. Yeah. It's... We also got these cool uh, Walking Dead collector's models, the Governor and Michonne. Those are kind of cool. Could get a chess set together with that, couldn't you? Yeah. Uh, Ant-Man, this was a good issue. I like Ant-Man. Ant-Man's good. Astro City. A song by Prince. Oh, no, that's Erotic City. Batgirl. Batman with this weird, creepy cover. It's, it's almost back to Bruce Wayne. Almost. Batman and Robin Eternal, which is one of Nick's favorite Bat books. What? Or it was, anyway. It was know. good. I, I've fallen behind. Oh. Dr. Fate in skinny jeans and a hoodie. Hipster Fate. Oh, you hate to see it. Dragon Age, Mage Killer. I just look at it this way. I'm happy to have a Dr. Fate. Sure, sure. Dr. Fate is good. Drax. One of, that's actually a fun book to read because yeah, it's out it. of the major continuities right now, so it's just yeah, fun. Excellent. Ex Mortis. I always find I like uh, light continuity better than convoluted. Yeah. I gotta buy 95 books to figure out what's going on. Gears and Bones. Boots and Pants and Boots and Pants. Um, man Plus. That does not look like a man, my friend. <laughs> Uh, Martian Manhunter. Supergirl sidekick, Martian Manhunter. Ninth Wave, the massive Ninth Wave. That one actually came out last week, but oh. we were shorted, so we that shorted, was... We shorted, so we'll be giving you another opportunity yeah. to... Max Ride, Ultimate Flight. So bondage never hurt no one. Not unless you do it right. Monster World by Philip Kim, Steve Niles, Peter Kowalski. Monster World. Silver Surfer number one. It's a return. Then Dan for Slott. Once, yeah, they, they, the All Reds. They stuck with the original. They stuck with the crew that actually made it. Uh, that made it popular uh, again. Yeah, made it a real good book. Smart move, Marvel. Uh, it's Sun the only one they've done so in a while. <laughs> Sun even shines on a dog's ass once in a while. <laughs> Simpsons comics. Yeah, then they go and go, hey, we're going to have two Captain Americas. <laughs> yeah, and 19 Spider Man. Yeah. Sinestro? Sinostro? Sinostro. Sinostro. <laughs> That's one of our favorite words here at Bill's Books. Sinostro. The Spirit. Star Wars. Uh, pronunciation. Yeah. Pronunciations can be fun, kid. As long as you're not fighting Voltron. <laughs> yeah. Is that whack foo? Is that what whack that says? <laughs> I am very. I'm a black belt in that. <laughs> Third degree. Yeah. You're a lot of chafing now. <laughs> yeah. Whack foo, ladies and gentlemen. Wayward? See, I didn't know that was coming, so it was coming. <laughs> See? We don't prep for this. No, we do not rehearse. I know it's hard to tell. Uh, Joe's pick of the week, Weird Love. <laughs> one away from Whack Foo. Yeah. That's Whack Foo plus one person. Wolf? That looks cool. Alice Cod? We like him. Him, he's not gonna finish the book though. I, well, he's gonna finish the storyline, and then he's done. He said with Wolf. Nice job, Alice Cut. Um, Wonder Woman. Everybody see the Wonder Woman footage? I did not. Honestly, it was probably the better of all the footages I saw of the DC stuff. I mean, yeah, the, the Suicide Squad looks fun. Yeah. But Batman, Superman still looks like a hot mess. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I'll see him maybe. Yeah. I say that. I still haven't seen Star Wars. He still hasn't seen Star Wars. He's barely seen uh, Age of Ultron. Hot. And when it came on Blu-ray, I did. Yeah. Uh, Harley Quinn. Look at this variant. Uh, Play Arts Kai variant. Play Arts Kai. Black Widow. She's it's, a little. She's a little bit hippie. She's a breeder for well, sure. But you know, it's anime version. Yeah. So. There, she's voluptuous. I'll, I'll say this much: the figure is really cool. The anime in which it was taken out of horrible. Wah, wah, wah. Look at this, Ronan, Boba Fett, Star Wars, like a samurai version of Boba Fett. Yeah, that's... that's how do you go wrong there? You don't. You don't, that's how. Batman, uh, Arkham Knight, Genesis. It's the last issue of that miniseries. <clears throat> Big Trouble in Little China. Blacklist, for those of you who like the Blacklist. Call of Duty. For the, you gamers. Yeah. Hey, it's written by Larry Hammer. I was just going to say the same thing. How do you go wrong with Larry Hammer? Yeah. You don't. Captain Marvel number one for the Carol Corps out there. Oh, look at that. Storm Shadow cover on G.I. Joe. Yeah, that's a nice cover. Nice cover, kids. Graduate, the graduate. Uh, are you trying to seduce me, <laughs> Mr. Romeo? This was Hangman. I know that. Dark Circle, Archie, Hangman. Good stuff. 
We sold out of it because it's good stuff. Yeah. And we sold out of Black Hood last week. Dark Circle is burning up the charts here at Bill's Books. It, 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 the only problem with the Dark Circle stuff and the and the Afterlife stuff is they don't come out on time. Wah, wah, wah. Harley Quinn. We sell a few of those every week. We sell a few of anything with the names Palmy, Eddie, and Connors on That's it. right. That's right. They are the reason we sell. Hercules. 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 Moonstreak. Um, Moonstreak sounds like skid marks. It's another name for skid marks. So, just so you know. It's, you know, if you <laughs> eat a lot of white chocolate. <laughs> I've got a Moonstreak. Sorry. Ms. Marvel. Wait, we had Captain Marvel and Ms. And Marvel. Ms. Marvel. Uh, Avengers 20XX Assemble. The new Avengers. The really, really new Avengers. Apparently. Yeah. Hey, look, here's a book that people have been... I what? think everyone who had it on their poll probably forgot about it. Yes, Nowhere Men. Speaking of which, I was looking at the solicits, and you know what's solicited from Oni in April? Sixth Gun. The last couple issues of Sixth Gun. Uh -uh. Yeah, I swear to God. Yeah, I thought maybe that it wasn't coming, but apparently it is. Hellcat, Patsy Walker, a.k.a. Hellcat. Nick's got a real problem with the tone of this book because he like feels Hellcat. it should be serious, badass Hellcat, and he says that they are marketing all these books to female readers, but they're making them all cutesy. But uh, it's female creators doing it, and, and, and the female audience enjoys it. So, hey, I'm not going to argue. If it right. works for them, I just I, I don't Her understand. Her name is Hellcat. How cutesy can she be? Hellcat! She was, she was like... I hope that's one of the thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was... I don't know. I'm... Gives you a real moon streak, doesn't it? It does. Star-Lord? Dave but Johnson? Again, that's just me. So sure. if it works for people, it works. I mean, yeah, it'll probably only go six issues. Our mileage, your mileage may differ. Yeah. Because we just speak our minds because we don't care because nobody's watching anyway. No. Star Brand and Night Mask, I like this book. Well, we know our couple, aren't Because we haven't even seen them in a while. That's right. Steam Man, the Cleveland Steam Man. <laughs> oh, Moonstreak. <laughs> Street <laughs> Fighter Unlimited. <laughs> with a lot of whack foo. Yeah. Wack Fu and Moonstreak are the two best titles this week. Sunflower. Wack Fu. I love it. Uh, look at this. Dark Knight 3 Master Race. Did that come out this that's week? That's the special edition yeah, they're that's doing the, for... Each issue, book yeah. two. That's book two. We've got a trade paperback of the new Teen Titans. They got applesauce this week. They got shelved their yeah, show. they got shelved. Because, I mean, it's not like uh, the Teen Titans is a marketable idea or anything. Well, you know, I think we'd rather do the non-powered, yeah. uh, you know, whoa, oh, let's do this. Yeah. Yet, isn't that what Gotham was supposed to be? And then, lo and behold, all these villains who shouldn't exist show up. Sure. Carver, a Paris story. I have no idea what that is, but it's got Cobra Commander on the cover, so that's it's cool. kind of fun. Okay. The first issue was all Paul Pope, so. That's good. We like Paul Pope. My pick of the week is gone. My mm. pick of the week was the, um, <clears throat> the adaptation of the Edgar Allan Poe story, The Cask of Amontillado. That was from Action Lab. From Action Lab via uh, Red Stylo Media. Yeah. We do good with uh, we do good, Poe yeah. adaptions. Yeah. Because I buy them all up. Uh, clean Room number four. And it's in a bag. There was a, so there was a shaft and tackle. Shaft and tackle. Yeah. Because oh. there is some random... Uh, couple issues i didn't bag that had some hoo-hoos in them but random hoo-hoos if i if someone had to come up and go hey man i found some uh hoo-hoos yeah. here i'd be like why don't you buy the book instead of reading it from yeah the shelf? right right that's how we get them that's yeah. how we know that they're reading from the shelf instead of buying them yep this isn't a library people we got bills to pay then it's the run yeah uh cyberines shout out to sean forney colorist extraordinaire friend of the uh bills books and more comic shop he's taking pre-commission uh yeah for gem next city Gem City, C2E2, Lexicon. So you should check out Sean Forney at any rate because a nicer guy, him and his wife Stephanie, nicer people you couldn't meet, great artist, cool guy to talk to. Check out anything that Sean Forney is involved in, please. Uh, Dark Horse Presents, Alien Jungle Girl, Kira, Kyra. Sinastro. Kyrie. Sinastro. I love the word Sinastro. Can we just call this video Sinastro? Uh, I don't know how to. I don't know how to actually spell that out. <laughs> I think it's just Sinestro with an O instead yeah. of an E. Hero Core Knights. 
I Hate Fairyland. Or... I forgot to put the other one. It's, it's up back there. Yeah. It's F Fairyland. Uh-huh. I can't say it. I don't like the curse. We don't potty mouth. I there. don't like to use bad curses. Mm-mm. Injustice. Uh, Itty Bitty Bunnies in Rainbow Pixie Candyland. Pop Tarts from Action Lab. Another another book from Action Lab. It says Itty Bitty Bunnies is what you get when you mix Ren and Stimpy, Breaking Bad, and mix in some Pulp Fiction. If you're into that kind of thing. If you're into. And if you are, please turn yourself into the police. Yeah. Uh, Jim Henson's Storyteller from Arkea. Nick, are you still an Arkea whore? I am, even though yeah. they're owned by Boom. Yeah. They don't do as much as they used to. Yeah, as far as uh, really nice volumes. Yeah. Of- but Mouse Guard is still good. Mouse Guard's still good. They're gonna do they're gonna do rust more rust, but it'll be in paperback, so just like this uh storyteller. Uh I don't know what this is. Jason it's Young Bluth's Peak. It's like an easy or something. It's yeah. a bunch of different stuff in there. Okay. Well check that out. Seems like it might be independent. Yeah. Always support independent, create your own self published stuff. Bill doesn't even know half the time some of the stuff he orders. That's right. Pencil head. Oddball artists, twisted writers, demented editors, office politics, hamburgers, and a dead stripper. We've all been there. Uh, the dead stripper, at least. That's a typical Tuesday here uh-huh. at Bill's Books. Plus Ultra, the most generic name for a comic book ever. At least it's not Ultra Plus. That's true. That would make it sound like toilet paper. Yeah. <clears throat> Poison Ivy, Cycle of Life and Death. Uh, Postal. There's Postal. It's a great cover. Yeah, that's a good cover. Homage to Norman Rockwell. A rather uh, insane homage to Norman Rockwell. Dennis's pick of the week, Superman Wonder Woman. There's that. Because, you know, Superman. Yeah. Uh, more Amanda Connor, Jimmy Palmiotti, Palmiotti goodness from Aftershock Comics, Super Zero number two. That's just a fun book. She's got the uh, pimples. She's got spider. It's, it's ant bites. Ant bites. You hate when it happens. Yeah, yeah you do. Symmetry. Another one from uh, the Top Cow. Top Cow Titans Hunt. It's not a got classic, but that's got see that's got classic Hawk and Dove. Beautiful, beautiful. And the main thing is that it's not drawn by Rob. Yeah. Uh, next pick of the week is also gone. Yeah, I had to reorder Tokyo Ghost. Tokyo Ghost, ladies and gentlemen, get down here to Bill's Books because we're selling books like crazy. Yeah. If you don't pre-order. And we're one of the few shops in town that that does shelf. Most yeah. of these independents, and we're that's just, that's right. We we try to keep accurate numbers, but hey, man, we. But we also like to sell books. Yeah. We also like to recommend independent books because that's where it's at, kids. Yep. So uh, that's all the books for this week, or the new books for this week. We got anything down here? No, nope. uh, that's the same thing. That's it. I think that's, that's it. That's everything. It. The only other thing we want to tell you about is we have a sale going on right now. We bought a giant collection of. Trade paperbacks and hardcovers. Oh, yeah. So we've got a nice little selection of trade paperbacks and hardcovers for you to peruse. They're all Marvel. They're all Marvel. And then we Not got next week we'll have some we'll have some Omnibuy coming in that'll be at a discount price. <laughs> Omnibuy, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Where else are you going to get that? Where else are you going to get proper? Yeah. So uh, I think that's it for right now. So uh, next week the previews will come out. So probably the following week we will uh, have some cool things to show you in the previews. So until next time, my friends, stay nerdy. Toodles. Bidi, bidi, bidi. No, I can't do it. <laughs>